वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फोर एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन फेराडेस लॉ इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट एस हैव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो हियर यू सी द लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन फेराडेस एंड लैंड लॉ आर समराइज इन फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन सो ई इज इक्वल्स टू आई आर सो दैट इज ओम्स लॉ राइट सो दिस इज नॉट फेराडेस लॉ E is equals to L dI by dt, so that states EMF across inductance. That is L dI by dt. That is not Faraday's law. C EMF that is minus d phi by dt. So that is what a summarized equation of Faraday's and Land's. One should know. See Faraday's have explained induced EMF. That is rate of change of flux with respect to time. Right, but Lands have explained that this induced EMF that is having minus sign here. That is what negative of rate of change of flux with respect to time. So Lands have explained polarity of induced EMF and Faraday's have explained magnitude of induced EMF and combination of these two that is resulting into induced EMF is equals to minus of rate of change of flux with respect to time. so one should know how this equation is coming let us have second question see in second question static magnetic fields induce current in closed conducting loops whether it is true or false that is the question now you see one should know static magnetic field cannot produce induced current to have induced current there has to have dynamic magnetic field right and that is what the experiment which is been stated by faraday's it explains rate of change of flux with respect to time generates induced emf right so emf will produce induced current right so induced emf that is equals to minus of d phi by dt right now if i place what is phi so that is magnetic flux so magnetic field into area now if i say area is constant so this will be minus of a that is outside db by dt right so what we can say here emf that is directly proportional to rate of change of magnetic field with respect to time so to generate emf there has to have dynamic magnetic field so static magnetic field does not induce current so this statement is false right let us have third question here so see in third question an electromagnetic field is radiated from a stationary point charge is no stationary point charge is radiates electric field only that one should know it does not radiate magnetic field a capacitor with dc voltage so it radiates electric field only it does not radiate magnetic field a conductor carries dc current so that is having constant magnetic field it does not have electric field radiation right but when you have oscillating dipole it will be having em wave generation now see how it is happening so if you see my previous videos based on faraday's law in that i have explained that rate of change of flux with respect to time will generate induced emf and based on that maxwell have derived equation which states that change in magnetic field will generate electric field and change in electric field will generate magnetic field right so oscillating dipole is having change in magnetic field with respect to change in electric field and vice versa case is generating radiation of em wave right let us have one more question now you see in this question a circular turn of radius 1 meter revolves at 60 rpm about its diameter aligned with x axis as shown in figure so you see a circular turn of radius 1 meter that is aligned with respect to x axis and it is revolving with 60 rpm so what will happen when this 
circular turn will revolve its cross sectional area will change right so here see the data that is given to us radius is equals to 1 meter so based on that we can have area that is pi r square and r is 1 meter so that one can say pi meter square but technically if i say this is a dash and actual area so that will be a dash sine omega t plus phi where this sine omega t plus phi that is a function which is revolving function of this circular ring right now here the value of mu zero that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 if uniform magnetic field intensity h is given right then the peak value of induced voltage is how much so here what is given here here h is given and that is 10 to the power 7 in az direction and unit is ampere per meter so we are dealing with to find peak value of induced voltage now first of all one should know what is the data which is given see here cross sectional area is revolving with respect to time so when it revolves with respect to time if i say magnetic field is happening like this right so if you see when this re area is revolving with respect to time that cross sectional area will change with respect to different time right and that function is how much maximum area into sin omega t plus phi where phi is initial phase right now we don't care what is initial phase let us consider it is something right and omega that is given that is 60 rpm right in si we will translate it later but omega is given that is 60 rpm right now here to calculate induced voltage we will be applying faraday's law obviously right and faraday's law is how much it is induced voltage is equal to minus d phi by dt where what is phi phi is magnetic field into cross sectional area so let us calculate first what is flux now see magnetic field is how much mu 0 h into area right and you see mu 0 into h is 10 to the power 7 right into area is how much area is a dash sin omega t plus phi where a dash is how much pi so i'm saying it is pi sin omega t plus phi right now let us simplify this little so mu 0 is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 10 to the power 7 into pi into sin omega t plus phi so this is 4 pi square into sin omega t plus phi now what is induced emf induced emf that is rate of change of flux with respect to time right so let us place the value of phi so that is 4 pi square into sin omega t plus phi so here 4 pi square that is constant take it outside sin into sine differentiation that is cos and omega is multiplied with t so i need to multiply omega here and this will be cos omega t plus phi now omega that is given to us that is 60 rpm right so minus 4 pi square 60 rpm is there so revolution per minute is given so in terms of radian per second it is 2 pi divided by revolution per minute means per second it will be 60 right so this 60 will get cancelled and this will be minus of 8 pi square cos of omega t plus phi now see what is the question then the peak value of induced voltage is how much see question is peak value right so what is peak value peak value is 8 pi square and that is how much 8 pi square is 
if you calculate it in calci then that will be 248.05 voltage so this is how we can identify peak value by using faraday's law of magnetic induction i hope you have understood this if you have any further queries just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you